I got the test result of first interview the next day. People who are watching, you know, what advice would you give to them so that they can also back a company like Intuit? We went on to a DSA problem. Mm-hmm. It was a relatively hard, hard problem, I would say. After two to three days, I got the result of the interview that I am selected. Hi everyone, so today we have a special guest with us. We have Naman with us. So Naman, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Hi everyone, I am Ashish. I'm Naman. I'm from Bivali, Haryana. I did my B.Tech from Tablet Diva Dodra, Gujarat. I'm a 2023 graduate and currently I'm a software engineer at Intel. Yeah, amazing. So Naman has cracked into it and that too off campus. So he'll be sharing with us the journey and what all he faced while cracking the interview of Intuit. So tell us everything, Naman. How was the interview experience interviewing with Intuit? Uh, yeah, sure, Rashi. So uh, let me start off with the first step, that is the online assessment. It consisted of four portions. So the portions was of various data structure topics and DB, bit masking, array, etc. If I have to judge them on a difficulty basis, uh, as per my observation, it was uh, one was easy, two was medium to hard, and one was competitively harder, harder problem. My interview process was very quick. Uh, so I got the results of the interview process. My test results basically of the OA mm-hmm. in early 2023. Mm-hmm. And uh, my interview process, I first got to know that I have been selected for an interview. And HR asked me like, what time I will be avail- can I be available for it? So we can easily choose next day for it that we can give our interview next day only. Yeah. And, uh, it was a 30 to 35 minutes standard interview. We started off with uh, my introduction, like how I am, where I'm from, about the session about myself. Then uh, we touched on some CS topic, four CS topics. And then we moved on to a standard medium to medium level problem. Standard problem that you generally find on the product sector, but it was a very good problem to test new skills. Mm-hmm. I got the test result of first interview the next day. And uh, like after that, the next interview was scheduled tomorrow after the I, I got the result. Uh, that interview was quite rigorous. Mm-hmm. We, uh, there were three interviewers in that. So we first had a discussion about myself, then just a general introduction to uh, like me feel comfortable. And after that, we started off with uh, my project. So they have you know seen the right. So um, we choose our project and discussed on that. Uh, like what does the project do? And uh, what motivated you to build that project? Because uh, it, it was a learning project, or whether you learned something from it. It's the uh, discussion about project. Like, what motivated you? Uh, what were the learnings that you did while making the project, mm-hmm. and etc. So it was a very good discussion on the project. Hi everyone. So do you also want to crack a company like Intuit, Atlassian, or even Google? Then I have the perfect course for you. And I'm talking about none other than Boss Code Academy. So if you don't know what Boss Code Academy is, then basically it's a learning platform where you can get all the necessary skills that are required to crack the top product-based companies. So they have an amazing structured curriculum where they teach you everything that there is to becoming a software engineer at the top companies. They'll be teaching you DSA, they'll be teaching you problem solving, they'll be teaching you system design, both low-level system design and high-level system design, and then they'll be teaching you full-stack web development as well along with a pretty good project in full stack web development. And in the entire course, you'll be getting live lectures, you'll be getting live doubt solving and support from the mentors. And the best part about this course, the one feature that I really like is that you can select your own mentor and they'll be guiding you one to one. So you have a list of mentors where you can see who's working in which company, you can look at their LinkedIn profile and then you can decide which mentor you want to guide you one to one in your entire journey. So they have everything laid out in a perfect plan so that you can go about cracking the toughest interviews of the topmost companies. So if you're interested, I've given a link in the description from which you can check the course out, get in contact with them and see everything for yourself. And now let's get back to the video. He was really interested to know about it and I really liked it. Uh, after that, we went on to four CS topics. So we had a discussion on OS, OS networking, and they were really good portions. So after that, like we went to the DBMS part. Uh, it started off with a very general portion, like what is sharding SQL? Yeah. So, if you have to solve this particular problem, how will you design the tables, mm-hmm. or what tables will you choose? And then we discussed on 
uh, as the requirement arises or the, as the requirement grows, how will you modify the table? And then writing a SQL query on it, the uh, syntax may be a little wrong, that's fine. They just want to know how you think. What's your thing, thought process? How, how do you design your tables? How do you change it according to the requirement and etc. Uh, after that, we had a really good discussion on it. After that, uh, we went on to a DSA problem. It was a relatively hard, hard problem, I would say. It was a DP problem. So uh, when I got the question, I first uh, did a dry run on the sample test cases to understand like, am I thinking right, the my approach is right or wrong. Then uh, I took some time, but I, in the meanwhile, I kept uh, speaking my thoughts, like what I am thinking currently, and uh, wrote a recursion solution on that. Not route, but just discuss a recursion yeah. problem. Then uh, I had my notebook along with me. So mm -hmm. I did a dry run on a very simple test case and so that that problem can be my mind yeah. because they were repetitive calls. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, like I wrote a DP solution for that and uh, it worked like it really worked. And uh, mm -hmm. so after that, it was I was done in the interview. Yeah. And uh, uh, in a round mm -hmm. two Three days. I was uh, not sure. It, it's, it has been a while, but yeah. It, mm -hmm. After two to three days, I got the result of the interview that I am selected. Yeah, this was pretty much all about the interview process and down. So I guess this round would have been the toughest, right? It included all like CS fundamentals along with DSA and your project discussion, everything at once, right? So about your project, I think they they would have really liked your project, right? Can you tell us a little bit about your project, like what it was about? Sure. So uh, it was a hackathon project, to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, we think uh, it's test your beta. So the problem statement was something like this: that uh, when you, uh, you know, as a developer, posts your applications on the Play Store or something, so you want to get the feedback on it. Uh, how my application is the users like it or not? So uh, the problem statement is: if you um, uh, the main problem here is if your user doesn't like it you will have low ratings yeah. and then Play Store uh, puts uh, put your application in the right. very bottom position, right? Yeah, and so right. the new users even don't see it. Hmm. Right. How will you increase your reach or how will you uh, in the first place uh, will grow hmm. if you are not getting new customers? You may solve the previous problems, hmm. but to get continuous feedback, you have to uh, yeah. uh, observe it, right? So this was the problem. So we built that solution that uh, anyone can come and uh, can list a project and uh, and they will also give some money mm -hmm. that whoever gives a good review will get a portion of that money. Okay. So it's the win-win for both of the parties mm -hmm. that if I genuinely give a good review mm -hmm. and uh, it helps the application then I will get some money. It's a win-win for me and the application uh, developer or the company yeah, gets to know that okay, these are my loopholes or these are this is what user is like, mm. right? So and the best part was like we developed that on the blockchain, and the reason we chose the blockchain was because uh, suppose I have a company and I am liking the user reviews, but I don't want to pay them money, right? Mm. So I will not pay. But in, in blockchain, there's a smart contract, right? So money was, has already been to smart contract. So they cannot take it back. So they will de de genuinely give the money, right? Yeah. So it's like this problem is solved. And yeah, this is pretty much about it. So I guess it is a really great project because the main thing is that it solves a real life, uh, real world problem, right? Rather than just creating a yeah. clone of already existing things. So that's, that's a really nice project actually. The people watching can take uh, inspiration from that to build something that's focused on solving a real world problem like you were able to. Okay, so to the people who are watching, you know, what advice would you give to them so that they can also back a company like Intuit? Because like you said, they focus on everything, like even the fundamentals, like DSA, they had a DP hard problem and even the project section. So what advice would you give to the people who, so that they can, you know, also crack a company like this? The other advice I can give is uh, don't focus on the solution then focus on the thinking process because as a fresher, uh, it's generally a perception that if I give the correct solution, I will be selected or I just have to give the right solution, that's all. But uh, that's simply not the case. Treat interviewer as your friend, not your enemy. They, yeah. they are here to help you. And it's always good to 
share your thought process of what you are thinking currently about the problem because that will really help you first of all uh, interviewer gets to know that you are thinking something and it also helps you getting approval whether you are think thinking it right or wrong you may get hints from interviewer sometimes it depends on the interviewer itself but you may get some hints that whether you are going right or wrong it is way better uh, against if i think all the solution in my head and then just provide <laughs> and then later i get to know that okay it was not right yeah. right then yeah. so in that case we just wasted uh, time of both purpose right <laughs> and you yeah. the selection chances are also less so again the focus on the thinking process and uh, another thing is like as you as you have also told that don't leave anything so a dsa is good you should excel in dsa you should be good at it but also learn other things like for cs subjects try to work on some good projects a real life problem if if you are able to that will really help and because as a developer you will also get some interest in building that yeah right and uh, another thing i can be explore at explore as much as you can i see like where is where is the interest lies where does your interest lies because um i personally tried many things so um, i tried hackathon to see like what others are building how they are thinking of the problems what real life problems can i solve then i tried uh, blog writing so i also did a small internship at dfg in right oh, there i was about to ask that was it at dfg <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah Uh, so then uh, I tried open source also. I tried to con- I tried contributing for Cisia, Opia. So for Cisia is a competition in S forty. So if you uh, contribute well, so they, in that competition all over the globe, the some mm-hmm. numbers contribute right. And if you do well, then they choose a finalist out of mm-hmm. them. Yeah, yeah. So in the period I was the finalist and contributing. Oh, so nice. Yeah, so it's all about exploring, like to see where interest lies, and obviously that gives you a breadth of the yeah. things also. No, I think that's a great yeah, approach because a lot of people, a lot of people just focus on, like you said, ki DSA, 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 karo, questions, karo, and people don't get to know ki what their true passion is. Unless you explore, like you said, you explored hackathon, open source, even DSA, you would be good at. That's how you got the DP question, right? So you have to explore everything to know where your passion truly is, right? Only then you catch up on the idea as a developer. Okay, so I guess that covers pretty much everything about the interview experience of Intuit and how to crack a company like Intuit. So thanks a lot, Naman, for coming on my channel and sharing all of this. And you can follow Naman's LinkedIn. I'll be giving a link in the description. You can reach out to him from there. You can follow him on LinkedIn. So thanks a lot again, Naman, for sharing all of this with me and my subscribers. Wow, thank you. Thank you for having me.